January 6th, 2018. We're on our way to Colorado Convention Center for the first... First of the year. RV show. Yay! Yay. Stop. See, let's go wherever the greatest fun is. RTD rail. Mm -hmm. The light rail station. So our heads are kind of spinning from all of the RVs and the ins and the outs and ups the and downs and, and kids. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, yeah. so many kids. <laughs> so, so much to see, so much to do, so much to try to steer around and avoid. Yeah, it's all quite the different quite floor quite plans. Experience. Just when you think you've seen them all, then you find something new that you've mm -hmm. never seen before. And yeah. we looked at some of the front living room. John really liked them. I'm not so much. Yeah, especially in the fifth wheels. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice having all that space of the of the living room, you know, and it, it really feeds my um, my introvert side of me because I can sit in the couch and face the fireplace and look at nothing else in in what's going on inside the trailer and it really and it, it doesn't feed me. Oh, so, so cozy. <laughs> so cozy. It was like a it was like sitting in a home theater. It's it was, like a living room. Yeah, beautiful totally. big TV and cushy couches. We did see a lot of um, truck campers that we liked, which is surprising to both of us because mm -hmm. those have not been our favorites anymore, but not that we're looking to have multiple campers, but you do think about it. If you wanted to go up and higher in the mountains and not have to drag a trailer, and what would that be like? And so, things to think about. Yeah, there's a lot of places that we have gone four wheeling in after we've parked the trailer and thought, wow, these are some really nice little open spaces up here at camp. That we wouldn't have to pay for. A lot of boondocking areas, but there's no way that we could get our 29 foot travel trailer into these spots. And so we thought, well, maybe a little, a little uh, teardrop or something that we could pull into these spaces would be fine. But uh, Melissa's idea of just, just having a, a, a truck camper is a really good one because now you're not having to deal with pulling anything over some of these crazy passes and through these really tight narrows, and, and it's just you and and the camper. And these things are amazing inside. Yeah. The you know, double slides. I, I remember from my childhood that, you know, they, they were tiny and cramped and felt cheap and always just smelled bad or whatever. I don't know. I, I never really thought that a, a, a truck camper would appeal to me. But uh, some of these, especially in the Lance lines, are really nice. They're nicer than a lot of the trailers we looked at today. Yeah, it's true. And at, at comparable or lower prices than many of these trailers. What you can get into for a... Um, a truck camper for forty thousand dollars is it's, it's like pure luxury and the amount of space is ju just blew my mind yeah and the storage and the storage and yeah. the and the quality of the kitchens and the quality of the furniture and yeah, yeah. It, uh, really nice really beautiful we enjoyed it first rv show of the year Woo Yay! bought a kayak can't wait yeah. camping yeah. is coming yeah, yeah. got Yay. our coffee cheers Cheers. Coffee out. Till next time.
he's pooping on my head. <laughs> <laughs>